it took me a while to get this. But once I got this, wow, this changed my whole approach to how I do business. Has anyone ever heard of a guy called Simon Sinek, S-I-N-E-K, yeah? He wrote a book, Understanding Your Why. He does a YouTube or a TED talk on the why. And I wanna quickly talk to you about your why because your why, and yeah, he's got the golden circle, the three circles, I saw you explain to your friend. So let me tell you about understanding your why because once I understood this, it changed my approach to business. So this guy who wrote a book, as I said, it, you know, the book's a bit hard to read, I wasn't terribly excited with the book. The YouTube video, it's 18 minutes, it's done, it's awesome. He did an analysis of various different leaders. Walt Disney, uh, Martin Luther King, the Wright brothers, Steve Jobs, a few other dudes, right? Really awesome, outstanding leaders. And he said, what makes these people different is that they sell and they communicate on their why. Most people sell and communicate on their what. He has, but people don't buy what you make, they buy why you do it. So the story I'll share with you is a story about Walt Disney. He built a little park called Disneyland. We've, most of us have heard of that. Has anyone been to Disneyland? Amazing place. Huh? And at Disneyland, they've got this massive mission statement to be the happiest place on earth, blah, 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 all this sort of stuff. And the story he gives is of a cleaner who starts his first day at work as a cleaner. And he comes up to his manager, and his manager, she's really busy, she's running to a meeting, and she says to the cleaner, listen, I haven't got time to tell you exactly what to do, and I can't take you through our mission statement, our core values, because I'm really busy, but I'll, I'll meet with you at 12 o'clock. I don't have your mop and your cleaning stuff, and I don't have a uniform. I just need to tell you one thing. I need you to understand our why. He goes, what's that? She said, here at Disneyland, we're all about making people happy. She said, I just need you to understand that and what that means, and you'll be fine. Uh, but, but, gotta go. So off he walks, he takes 15, 20 steps, and he comes across a mum and her son. He's five, six years old, and the kid is hysterical, he's crying. He spilled his milkshake all over the ground, it's bounced up onto his pants, onto his mum's dress, He's hysterical, the mum's panicking. She hasn't got any wipes, and you know, when you've got kids, you've got to wash shit off them all over the joint, whatever. The kid's upset, he's got crap on his face. She's quite flustered. He walks up, says, it's okay, I'm a cleaner. And they look at him, he's just dressed just like a normal bloke. He says, what do I do? Aha, uh -huh, make people happy. He picks up the milkshake and he tips it on his head, <laughs> right? The kid starts laughing. The mum sees the kid laughing. She's laughing, everybody's happy. And they go off into the cleanest room and get themselves tidied up. So when I learned that story, their why, we developed our why. And for us, we're all about liberating people's lifestyles.